Power Query is going to revolutionize the way you use Microsoft Excel. Its ability to not only transform data, but to remember those steps and automate it for next time is going to save you literally hours of time. If you've ever downloaded data from an internal company system, you'll know that the format of that data isn't always the most helpful for our analysis. In this example, we've got useless header rows and we've got blank columns within our date range. I'm going to teach you the basics of data transformation and show you how Power Query can help you solve your data transformation problems with ease. We're even going to cover how to combine the contents of several files within the same folder into one clean table of data. Power Query really is an essential part of the modern Excel environment. Power Pivot brings business intelligence and analysis capabilities into the heart of Microsoft Excel. The key benefits over your current analysis are that you can create pivot tables that combine multiple sources. There's no restrictions on data rows, so you're not limited to a million rows anymore. By using Power Pivot, we eliminate intensive lookups. No more writing VLOOKUPs over 20,000 rows that can potentially crash your files. Finally, Power Pivot lets us do powerful time period comparison functions. So we can easily compare sales to the same period last year or to last month, for example. And we can do all of this with very simple formulas that don't need to be updated. Power Pivot lets us import multiple tables of related data. Once we've done that, we can link those tables up using relationships. Relationships allow us to source related information from other tables. For example, in our main table here, we have sales by product, but we only have a product ID. In our product table, we show product names. So this relationship allows us to pull more information about each product into our analysis. And we do all of this without a single VLOOKUP. With simple formulas, we can also create metrics to calculate year-over-year -year sales growth or margin growth. With Power Pivot, we can now create this complex analysis where we can slice and dice using data from different tables. If you're using Excel for your analysis, you really should learn Power Pivot to take your analysis skills to the next level. SQL is a query language used to fetch data from a database. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's designed to be easy to read and write. An understanding of SQL will set you apart from dashboard-focused BI analysts, as SQL really does help you to understand the building blocks of data. SQL ties many business intelligence tools together, and it can be used in several different environments from Azure Data Studio to directly inside Excel or from within Power BI. SQL may not be the most visually exciting tool to work with, but there's no doubt that it's the most powerful tool for moving and transforming data. It's a universal language used by data engineers, analysts in BI, right through to data scientists at the other end of the spectrum. Databases are often constructed with many different tables of data, and SQL allows us to join those together into one query to return a number of columns. SQL uses a number of keywords that you see here in blue to make the code easier to write. Here we're selecting the desired columns from a given table, and we're joining that data to these other tables. We can limit the data that's returned by saying only give me rows where a certain condition is true and then group those values by something or order them by something else. This is only the beginning of what SQL can do, but be in no doubt that SQL is the tool you should learn if you want to really understand the structure of your data and how that impacts the analysis you'll be doing. I'm sure you'll agree that these tools that we've just seen have the ability to revolutionize the way you transform data and do your analysis. At this point in our journey, our data analyst has sourced the data needed for our projects, created data models, 
and calculated the metrics most valuable to our business. It's now over to the data visualization specialist to turn those metrics and data into a powerful visual story. The data visualization specialist. Data visualization specialists focus on turning clean data into visuals that help communicate a message or help answer a specific question. The first step is to create visuals. They usually focus on a specific metric or message, such as top performing stocks of a particular category. It's also important that those visuals highlight key data points when necessary. Dashboarding is at the heart of business intelligence. Dashboards combine multiple visuals, often using interactions, to tell a story about the data. This allows the user to see more detail, identify root causes, or even explore trends. The data visualization specialist is then responsible for communicating those results to audiences and ensuring that those reports are consistent and focused. They'll also need to manage which audience members have access to which reports. A key part of communicating with an audience is to collect feedback. This allows the business intelligence team to improve definitions, avoid uncertainty, and make reports clearer. There are three clear leaders in the data visualization field. First, we have Tableau and Power BI, which both offer endless functionality to create interactive visuals and dashboards. And the reason I've included Excel is because it's still so widely used across the business world. If you want to work in BI, you must know how to use these three tools at the very minimum. That said, there are many, many other business intelligence tools being developed for both analysis and data visualization, but they all follow the same principles of data and visualization. So once you know one, it becomes easier to learn another. Let's take a look at Tableau and Power BI. 